Welcome to Mnemonics Tell. Today, we're going to review on the biography of Christian Barnett, the first surgeon to successfully perform human heart-to-heart -heart transplant. I love you to death, and I'm giving you my whole heart. These are words that are often hard between loved ones, but do you think they're real? <laughs> Honestly, it's hypothetical, but here's a man who made it possible practically. Christian Nathling Barnard, born on 8th November 1922 in the Union of South Africa. His mother, Marie Elizabeth de Swart, had a saying she always said to her son, you can do anything if you set your mind to it. One of his four brothers, Abraham, had a heart condition that later Barnard would describe it as tetralogue of Fallot. In terms of academics, Barnett went to Puford West High School in 1940 and obtained his Bachelor in Medicine and Surgery in 1945. He completed his Master's Degree and Doctorate in Medicine for a dissertation titled The Treatment of Tuberculous Meningitis, all in 1953 at the University of Cape Town Medical School. Soon after qualifying as a doctor, Barnett performed several experiments on dogs while investigating on intestinal atresia. After 43 attempts in nine months, he produced this condition, intestinal atresia, in the fetus puppy by a procedure and returned it into the womb. Two weeks later, it was born with this condition and he cured it. Then how did his journey in heart surgery begin? Due to his talent and potential work in medicine, he was selected for a two-year scholarship at the University of Minnesota in the United States under the Chief of Surgery Owen in 1955, of which Barnett was assigned more work on intestines, and whenever he needed a break, he could wander across the halls and talk to Vince Scott, who ran a lab for open-heart surgery with the pioneer Walt Lilahi. In 1956, Gott asked Barnett to help him run a heart-lung machine for an operation. And shortly afterward, Owen Wangenstein agreed to let Barnett switch to Lilahi's service. That's where his journey in heart surgeries began to be promising. In 1958, Barnett received a Master's of Science in Surgery for a thesis called the aortic valve problems in fabrication and testing the prosthetic valve. The same year, he was awarded a PhD for a dissertation titled The Etiology of Congenital Intestinal Atresia. Over time, Barnett became known as a brilliant surgeon with many contributions to the treatment of cardiac diseases such as tetralogophallot and Epstein's anomaly. On January 1964, James Hardy at the University of Mississippi performed the world's first heart transplant for chimpanzee donor, which wasn't successful because the heart pumped only for 60 minutes. For Barnett, he had experimentally transplanted 48 hearts into dogs, but it's sad that no dog survived longer than 10 days, unlike his fellows who had their dogs survive for more than a year. But this didn't make him give up. Louis Wyszkanski, a 54-year-old grocer who was suffering from diabetes and an incurable heart disease, had no hopes of life. Coincidentally, on the 22nd December 1967, a young woman, Denise Darvel, while crossing a street in Cape Town had an accident and was rendered to the hospital with her brain dead. After asking for a concert from Denise Dovo's family, Barnett stated to Wojcicki and his wife Anne that he is going to perform a heart transplant and assured them of 80% chance of success. Other surgeons though criticized that statement, but Barnett said this to them. For a dying man, it is not a difficult decision because he knows he's at the end. 
if a lion chases you to the bank of a river filled with crocodiles, you leap into water, convinced you have a chance to swim to the other side. But at his mind, he was covered with the words of his mother which say, you can do anything if you set your mind. And he chose to perform the transplant. It was early morning on 3rd December 1967 that Barnett performed the world's first successful human heart transplant and the operation lasted five hours. The operation was reported successful even though Washkansky only lived further 18 days due to community pneumonia after prolonged immune suppression of the drugs. Dark Van Zyl, who received a new heart in was the longest-lived recipient, survived over 23 years. Other achievements of Barnett include, he designed an idea of heterotopic or pig back transplant in which the patient's diseased heart is left in place while the donor's heart is added, essentially forming a double heart. Barnett performed the first such heterotrophic heart transplant in 1974. He also attempted xenotransplantation in human patient while attempting to save the life of a girl who was unable to leave artificial life support after her second aortic valve replacement. In his lifetime, Barnett had three marriages of which all ended in divorce despite his success in medical science. Christian Barnett died on 2nd September 2001 an early report stated that he died of heart attack, but an autopsy showed that his death was caused by severe asthmatic attack. Thank you very much for watching. For much more, visit our channel. Remember to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more.